Starlink issue, was it part of our discussions? No. What we were able, and this is part of uh, the offer or the document and the package that we're talking about, is creating an environment for investments to take place. What do we want? We want U.S. companies to come and invest in South Africa. That is a real deal for us. We want foreign direct investment. And to do that, we've got to create a conducive environment for FDI, for foreign direct investment. And where, for instance, in the past, we've been able to do so and attract U.S. companies and utilize <coughs> equity equivalents, uh, and U.S. companies have embraced that, that shows that they are willing to go along with our regulatory framework, which we have crafted to attract investors to South Africa. And many other countries utilize a variety of, of ways to do that. I know, for instance, um, I was reading that when um, Tesla wanted to build a gigafactory, car manufacturing factory in China, uh, they were required to have Chinese partners. And they had a negotiation with the Chinese government. And in the end, they dispensed with that regulatory uh, compliance and allowed Tesla to invest directly uh, as a sole company in building a giga car manufacturing facility in China. So what did the Chinese do? They crafted their own regulatory framework, and they were able to come up with a creative way of enabling an investment to take place. Because one, they wanted uh, to bring in an investor to create jobs in China and all that. So similarly with us, there's nothing wrong with South Africa to have in the past crafted an equity equivalent provision that has allowed many country, uh, companies, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, you name them, they have utilized that same type of uh, dispensation. And in doing so, we want to see how best we can attract further investors in South Africa and be able to get uh, a regulatory framework that can allow them to come and invest. And where, for instance, our regulations may be a bit inconsistent with our great intention. We look at them, and you ask, somebody asked a question about Minister of Communications. That's me. Yeah, that's you, yes. He's going to be able, um, in analyzing the regulations of the Communications Act, to see how best we will be able to make them consistent with what we have done in other sectors, and that is that falls within the realm of creating that conducive environment for us to attract investors to come into South Africa without uh, uh, violating our own rules and regulations, our laws. But it's part of the regulatory process to make sure that we are an investable country uh, where companies from outside South Africa can come and invest.